Hey guys, this is Jan Joseph George and welcome to another Lightroom tutorial and today I'm gonna show you how to color correct and export a portrait photo in Lightroom. So let's start. So with this image right here, you can see it is uh, very evenly toned and you can see the subject standing out. So we'll try to get that. And this is the original image. You can see how flat, how uh, overexposed and it's a raw image. So you have that uh, option of very expressive editing. So this is how I got it to what I got through the coding just in right room. So let's start. I'm going to reset the image right now and you can see to start with I can just uh, bring down the temperature, I don't want it too warm and I can maybe make a bit uh, tint to bit of a magenta and exposure obviously you have to bring it down a bit because it's overexposed and now contrast, you can add a bit of contrast, don't overdo it highlights again, you can see how you can bring down the highlights a little shadows maybe a little very little because it has shadows here and nothing is underexposed in the image so far and the whites you can see you can maybe reduce the whites a bit i don't want the whites to pop out in this in, in this image black similarly i can crush down the blacks as well it gives more uh, depth to the image and next is the texture i'm just gonna leave the texture there i'm just uh, not uh, doing much on it clarity a bit of clarity uh, and dehaze yeah a bit of dehaze works so already you can uh, press the slash button and you can see how uh, different how how much difference it makes already and now the vibrance and a bit of saturation as well it actually gives more uh, color to the image you can see that already so I can Again, it looks a bit warm for me, so I'll go back to temperature and kind of, uh, you know, deal with a little more uh, warm. I'll reduce the warmth a little. And you can see it is much, much better than the raw image. Now you can go down to tone curve and here you can do a lot of magic. So first thing is, you know, just bring back the tone curve to the normal position. You know, you can do all kind of crazy things there I don't want to overdo it you can see how tone curve works kind of uh, gives a lot of detail to the highlights and shadows separately you can pull out a lot of detail on the image you can see how crisp it is it was short it was shot on my Canon DSLR with the 135 f2 lens so that is pretty sharp lens so uh, once you get that in focus, your subject will be clearly in focus. That is one thing to note, you need a very sharp lens to get such portraits so that your background just sort of blends nicely. And next is the color, I'm just gonna leave the red there, maybe pop it up a bit, a little bit, that's up to you. And next is the oranges and here is where your skin tones come into play and you can see how it gets affected so bring down the saturation a bit on the skin i don't want the skin to be over saturated and i'm gonna increase the luminance on the skin so that it looks a little uh, more uh, exposed than the surroundings and split tonings i'm gonna leave split, split tonings for this one and next is sharpness yeah you can keep it around 80 and since this image is not indoor and there's very less noise i'm just gonna leave it very little as little of the luminance correction and the color correction can give a bit of smoothness to your image don't overdo it your image will look very un uh you know not sharp at all so don't have to risk that and next is uh lens correction i'm just gonna leave the lens correction and then transform uh here you can automatically correct the lines uh, you know all the perspectives can be uh, controlled in a way you can i can just press the auto and it automatically corrects the lines as it can then it has done a pretty good job i guess in this image as well so i'm just gonna crop it down a little and you know 
uh, I think this works for me so uh, that is it for the basic toning you can see how different it is already and now to give more attention to your subject you can take a, a radial tool and you know place your subject in that and by default it will be your subject in the edit area you can see whatever happens uh, whatever edits you are doing here will have uh, only happen affect the area that is inside the radial filter you can see you increase the exposure a bit you can get the shadow a bit maybe sharpness a bit and again maybe you can you duplicate if you want or you can just start new and you can again draw the circle in the same area circle or oval whatever it is and next uh, you have to make sure the it uh, invert is turned off so now whatever you are doing affects outside the circle so it doesn't affect what's inside the circle so i can even use a brush to you know maybe erase choose erase here and erase this area because i don't want it all the at uh, affecting her face neither her legs so even her hand a bit so you can reduce the size of the brush and you can brush on the hand so it doesn't affect whatever it's you do right now won't affect her the subject basically and here you can see uh, I'm gonna reduce the overall exposure and in that doing that my subject kind of pops out of the screen so I'll just bring the highlights up so it shows really yeah this looks much better and to fine tune you can go back to colors maybe you want a bit of uh, blue whichever blue you want you can increase the saturation a bit here you can reduce the saturation that is totally up to you uh, I think this works for me uh, in the red also I can maybe you know increase a bit give the hue towards more red yeah so even more you can do is uh, use the radial tool you can brush around the person again there's, in, there's no invert in this so whatever effects you do will affect where you have painted I am just gonna delete this because we don't want that I just showed you that so yeah this is how the final image is this is how it looks after before editing and the, this is how it looks after everything so I think uh, in this way my subject looks very much uh, in the center I can even go ahead and make it more appealing but uh, that is totally up to you if you don't want to do it don't do it uh, this is totally your choice you know bringing more detail to your subject and all I can keep on keep a bit of it I can increase the shadows and give more contrast to the image and you can see it looks pretty interesting right now from what was captured and yeah this is how you tone a portrait in Lightroom this is my way of doing it people, many other people have uh, their own styles so you can see which fits your kind of editing and that's it for this tutorial thank you for tuning in and I'm gonna show you more color tonings and more editing in my future videos for that stay tuned